I'll be honest, the last three years have definitely been a whirlwind. I entered in as a senior in high school, expecting things to be just about the pace they were in high school, expecting that the biggest time commitment would be marching band. But actually that wasn't the case here at all. Classes, meetings with professors, talking to my friends, and of course marching band. It's one of the most like vivacious, bubbly environments I've ever been in, but I wouldn't trade it for the world because I leave every day feeling super satisfied with everything I've done. If you might imagine, you know, for our music majors and even for non-music majors who perform in some of our ensembles, it was a real challenge to figure out how to wrestle with, am I not going to be able to make music? And one of the cool things is we all kept up with the research on aerosol production and all of the things that we needed to know, which allowed us to then put some safety measures in place. And even though it looked a little bit different, I think it really made a big difference for our students to be able to say, I can still perform. I can still play in a band, sing in a choir, play in an orchestra. And I think that really kept a lot of them going and now has given them a whole different layer of appreciation. And so that connection with their beloved art form was really important. I think diversity shows up in a lot of ways. When you think about diversity of faculty and the interest that we have, that definitely shows up in really obvious ways. Then we also consider elements of uh, diversity in terms of our student body. So whether it's ethnic or whether it's just gender, we're seeing a lot of interest in our students in being recognized as not falling into traditional categories of male and female. And I think that that also manifests in what kind of music they're wanting to see performed. Uh, representation really matters to them. So for instance, if all of our music is composed by people of a particular classical period or styles that are too similar, I think our students are kind of pushing back a little bit and wanting to see a little bit more variety in genres. And I think most of the faculty have done a really good job of recognizing that the people in the room matter and that they see a version of themselves. I've been working here for, it's my fourth year, and it's been a very um, mind-opening experience for me as an artist, as a musician, coming into um, academia and teaching on a weekly basis. It's been something that I, I kind of always done, teaching, but at UNT, in this college of music that has a, such a history and a reputation, it's been uh, really rewarding. I grew up in New Mexico and I actually transferred to the University of North Texas because when one grows up in New Mexico and wants to go to the biggest music school that's closest by, then one comes to the University of North Texas. It was such a fabulous place to be, especially having grown up in New Mexico just because I had no idea of the world of jazz per se and of all the different things. So to have all the different disciplines and people from all over the world really in one place, I think I learned as much from that as is about classical music, to, to hear jazz musicians and those guys really practiced and ladies. Gave me confidence, I think, to go out and do other things in the world. As an immigrant, as a, somebody from a different continent and country, somehow I, feel, I felt uh, very welcome here and um, comfortable because it's an environment where we have people from all around the world, from so many different backgrounds, even musically, like coming from classical, baroque music, uh, ancient music, jazz, opera, voice, dance, with so many different things. It's been really interesting for me for my creative energy and I've been able to maintain my work internationally outside and coming back here to teach. It's really remarkable when you consider everything that it takes to be a music educator, right? You have to be an excellent musician. You have to be somebody who understands the pedagogy, which is very different than just playing your instrument or singing, but how do you then relay it to students? How do you keep students motivated? How do you understand issues of classroom discipline? And how do you develop skills for connecting with kids? 
specific to music education, all of our students get placed, and that's a really remarkable thing when you consider not just the, at the undergraduate level, but at the graduate level, as long as there is flexibility on the candidate being able to go where the jobs are. And so we are really fortunate that all of our students get jobs. So we have a very dense program with more than 70 ensembles. We have seven big bands in the jazz uh, division. We have um, multiple lab, lab bands. There is something for everyone. So there's like composition, music education, commercial music, entrepreneurship, management for music, and so, and so on. So many angles to learn about music. So it's not only performance, it's also business or education. So that's one of the uh, characteristics of uh, uh, the or College of Music, because we have possibility to really mix different uh, disciplines. It's pretty, pretty nice. <laughs> if I was giving some advice to somebody auditioning for the College of Music and in excited and interested in coming to the college, I would definitely tell them to take every opportunity that is given and even opportunities that are not given, but that can be sought out. What you find here at uh, TNT in the College of Music, it's some of the best artists and uh, teacher, professor, because they are the best at what they do, the best at their craft. When you around people that are very good at what they do, it's inspiring for yourself to be at your best. <laughs> <laughs>